generally 10 heels and god's timing is always the best yeah god's timing is always the best so I was feeling so sad because I was all alone so bad and there she goes she touched my heart and said I know so go so glad the way she keeps me smiling it brings me joy proves this love this real love is so real tonight say within my heart there's nobody else nobody else to leave me give me your hand let me take you away Today is 25th of December 2023 and probably guys might see this video tomorrow if I'm done editing the video. So I started this vlog yesterday <laughs> and um, yeah, I made jello fries yesterday. Today I'll be making chicken stew. But this is not the reason why I decided to start this vlog. I am actually here to tell you guys something. Of course, uh, by the title of this video, you would have known what I'm about to say so literally i will say that this december 25th this year december let me put it this way is my worst christmas ever not just for me but at this point for my family because you guys i know i've not shared this on my channel but this is me officially opening up and i wanted to just share with you guys what we've been passing through please ignore cora and some other playing in the parlor so yeah i just want to quickly share this with you guys before i'll start cooking so yeah um it's it's crazy it's it's not been a good one for us because on the 15th of december 2023 i lost my mother-in-law to the cold hands of death yeah she died 2 a.m in the morning and um you guys it's been it's been crazy it's been it's been a very difficult moment for us um it was indeed a shock because we didn't see that coming it was a shock to us to the family to everyone because we didn't see it coming at all let me just share with you guys a brief story three years ago that was even when we we are scared that we might lose her because she wasn't there she was admitted in the hospital and she spent over a week she was on oxygen you know she do have this heart issue um pumping arteries and all that not functioning well around her heart area or in her heart last four years it was it got bad so we thought she was not going to make it because you know someone that was living strictly by oxygen and all that well god spared her life and then brought her back to us okay because god knows how much we love her how much she means to us and then after these years we've not had any issues with her health the only thing she does was she goes for her checkup she visits her doctor the person that has been taking care of her and you know each time she let me just use the word she has been on drugs okay on proper checkups and all that 13th of december she complained of um you know that she wasn't feeling too well and she was taken to the hospital so we thought it's one of those things because it has to do with her breathing and all that so you know she saw her doctor that morning and the doctor said that um doctor you know just saw her did lots of checkups on her gave her injection and drugs and told her that she'll be fine she went home the next day okay she went home then on the 14th she still called to complain that she wasn't feeling too well that um, she could not even sleep throughout the night um she stays with my sister-in-law okay so she complained that the sister in law complained that mama could not sleep well all through the night that she literally sat on chair all through the night because if she feel you know if she lies down on the bed 
she will be feeling this choking and not not being able to breathe well so she struggled and then her breathing wasn't really good so the sound and all that so she was we also asked her to please take her back to the hospital on the 14th which they did on getting to the hospital on the 14th of december she was admitted okay and then she was also fixed on oxygen we felt it's one of those things you guys you know so my husband kept calling and we are sure that she's on oxygen and she's doing well okay so around that time 8 pm ish my husband also put a call across to her and then she told my husband that her that she's not she was the one that picked the call herself you know and she told my husband that she wasn't really feeling too well that she kind of she's feeling worse than the way she was the other day which doesn't really sound cool 10 p.m that same day my husband also called her and then she said that she's feeling better okay that we should sleep that she's feeling okay right now that the oxygen is helping her to relax and all that you guys we thought everything was cool we thought she was okay we thought she was going to make it around 2 p.m on december 15th she gave up she died and you guys ever since then it's been crazy like it's been mentally the, the news wasn't what i was literally like to be honest when my husband called me to tell me I actually thought maybe because i saw him and i noticed that his face was not okay like if his face wasn't um, because we got the news in the morning around 8 a.m so when i saw my husband that morning i kind of felt like like you know he just came out from his room after answering a call and i was like what is the problem because i was cooking in the kitchen that was on a saturday so i was cooking in the kitchen i was like what is the problem he said that i i my mind was like maybe mama maybe the stuff was getting worse like you know the way it was last year and um, last three years last three to four years ago like i was not expecting death to be an option because this woman was strong like when we finally announced the news people kept saying things like that they saw her in the church like last sunday she was greeting people she was so strong and all that so the death hearing her death the death as i'm hearing that she's dead to me was was shocking because I didn't see that coming, you guys. None of us saw that coming. My husband kept crying like a baby because he's the last born and they have this connection. Even to the extent that the sister will call me and ask me, How is my brother? How is he coping? You know, like, you know, they felt like I think I like he, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't even know how to start saying this right now. But then, even up until now, my husband has actually been a very moody person. I try so much to cheer him up and every time I see him, sometimes he'll be thinking, he'll be thinking loud, he'll be acting somehow. You know, when someone is thinking, a person might be doing one kind of body language and you know that the person is actually lost in his thoughts. When I call him, I'll be like, what are you thinking? He'll be like, his mother, the time they spent together, you know, like I said before, he's the last born, he's the last child of the woman and... Um, and then my mother-in-law, she's actually a very nice person. When people, when I see, go on, come online and see people complain that their mother-in-law is, is making life miserable for them, you know, mine is actually the other way around because she's so sweet. Ever since I got married to the family, I've never complained of anything from her, any negativity, any negative vibes. She's actually been like a very nice person to us. And the news, the news, broke me like i started shaking even my husband told me about it i was just shivering like i was so scared days we've not really been sleeping you know it's more it's, it's more like you can just be awake 1 a.m 2 a.m thinking you know so right now she's actually in the mortuary they are still trying to find time to you know fix burial and all that you guys this is literally not easy for us it's not easy for my family right now because my husband still cries you know most times you just catch him not being you know like most you know it's a lot you guys it is emotionally draining physically draining and all that but thankfully to god time heals we feel better with time we feel better with you know timing and all that makes it fair 
you know with time time heals let me just put it this way but then prayers you know console uh, consolation messages from people from friends has actually been helpful even though you know it's, it's actually been helpful let me stop here I'm not going to carry you guys along today it's not going to be a proper cook with me I'm making what I've actually made on my channel but then I'm here to say thank you thank you so much for your love for your support on this space I thank you guys you, you know for just choosing to watch me because it's not like it's not like I'm a celebrity or there's nothing I most times I even feel that I'm a very boring person but you always find a way to come back to watch my videos so I appreciate you all thank you so much for everything I can vlog some more I will go ahead and you know put out content here and there I believe that better days are ahead generally time heals and God's timing is always the best yeah God's timing is always the best so I'll go ahead and start making lunch right now for my family and I will see you all in my next video this is me wishing you guys a happy Christmas 2023 ended with bad news but then 2024 we definitely start with good news I believe God thank you guys so much again for watching and um, I will see you all in my next video bye guys